What's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be sharing some online inspired home decor. Of course, Dollar Tree stuff is always popular, but um, as of lately, I have been adding other stuff in there, either from Walmart or from um, Amazon, just because I'm still working with stuff that I have from months ago and then stuff that I ordered on Amazon or purchased at Walmart a while back or whatever. I feel like sometimes it might be a little impossible to just use every single thing from Dollar Tree. Anyways, if this is your guys' first time here, thank you so much for joining me. I would love it if you became part of the DIY family by subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. So yes, inspired decor DIYs, let's get on to them. For this DIY, you're gonna need about 80 pieces of these wooden blocks. I think there's 36 to a pack. Um, just for the sake of making it uh, Dollar Tree, we have 10 going across at the top and then 10 at the bottom. Three vertical, three horizontal, three vertical, horizontal, vertical, et cetera, et cetera. Do the opposite <laughs> on the bottom part, and then you'll do this to, um, and then you'll put the 10 blocks at the end. So anyways, I'll go ahead and speed it up and show you guys what I'm doing. I don't know what color I'm gonna do it yet, but I will be sure to show you guys. And then I'm still debating it, but I think I'm gonna be using this um, Dollar Tree decal that says family. I just wanna say that I feel is real maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal Okay, so for this one, I think it's going to be really fun and different. So I'm going to put this on my faux window. Just keep that in mind that I'm making this to fit that space. So if you guys want to take this idea and make it fit your space, these are Amazon paint stir sticks and I do have them listed down below. And I think overall these cost about 10 cents a piece for the big box that I bought for the price when you break it down really inexpensive so if i do use 10 of these there's a dollar you know doing the math You guys saw that I glued the two bottom pieces and then the two side pieces here. So this part is actually gonna be the front and I glued one, two, three, four, so eight pieces to the front and then I have 12 pieces here and this is gonna be the back. I'm just gonna take a scrap and then glue it right in the center here so that it doesn't fold on me. Somebody, I just wanna love I'm 
gonna take some of this Dollar Tree wire and it's pretty flexible. And then I'm gonna be taking my Amazon beads that I have been using for the past few videos, also linked in the description. I think I counted right and there's about 90 beads in total. And on this end right here, I'm just gonna twist it a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna be making some tassels for the ends. I have some Dollar Tree yarn and then also some cotton twine. I feel like this one fits a little bit more to make it look not as soft. If that makes sense? Grabbing it there. I'm gonna start wrapping it. Maybe I never knew what I really wanted But looking back I can see it's all clear I'm still a kid trying to act like they all taught me But nothing makes sense anymore free to fill it with whatever type of greenery you want and then also the pool noodles I usually cut these up and I use them as floral foam so I just cut these strips I'm gonna stick them right in there and put my florals in there this and then I'm just gluing two more pieces together staining them and then I'm gonna put that as a handle These two wall sconces that I'm making um, are a variation of this chandelier that I made quite a while back and I love using these clear ornaments as light bulbs. I think they are perfect for it. I am going to link it down below also and then also at the top if you guys want to check it out. But this is the chandelier that I sort of saw online. Um, actually I saw several that were similar and I know the wall sconces don't look exactly like that but they're pretty similar so this was the inspiration for that. So I already made one, it was sort of my test. I wanted to make sure that it came out how I wanted it. And you know, I was just coming up with it along the way. So I'll be using 20 of these Jenga blocks and I'm gonna use 10 for the top, 10 for the bottom. I'm also gonna be using some of these bamboo sticks that I purchased through Amazon. I will link them down below. I'm sure you guys, if you can't find these, um, you guys can use skewers or you know, come up with whatever Dollar Tree item to replace it. And then I'm also using this Dollar Tree ornament is just a clear one. As you can see, I already took one off. So um, one, one set of this is perfect for two lanterns. I also have my little fairy lights. And then I'm using two of these little hooks. And these you can buy at Walmart. I don't know if they have them at Dollar Tree. I think they might. And then I also found these little wooden plaques at Dollar Tree as well. And um, I have these um, hooks, these are like curtain hooks, and I just have a bunch of them laying around. I'm sure you guys could find these somewhere. Um, I'm sure they wouldn't be too expensive. Lani, mommy's working. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> all right. So yeah, you guys, this is work from home life. I think I've mentioned it a lot before. And then also Dollar Tree, I don't know if they have them still or not. I know they go by pretty quick during the spring. There's these plant hanger uh, chains. So each chain comes with three strands. So taking one of the strands, I'm gonna split it in half. So you basically just unloop it and then stick the other part here. Maybe I could have seen it all coming. 
Okay, so I have my two pieces, my top and bottom. So I'm gonna be using six pieces that go vertically like this. So on each corner, on both sides, and then two on the sides. And these are six and a quarter inches long. And then I have two that go crisscross on either side. So not like four sides, but just two sides. These are eight inches long. And then we have the top piece. This is where you're gonna put your chains. This one is about five and a half inches long. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those and then start gluing them. That I wouldn't grow wiser for each day. Am I the only one lost in translation? Where nothing makes sense anymore. Okay, so I'm just gonna be mixing both of these Dollar Tree paints. This one is a chalkboard paint, and this one's deep brown. This one's more of like an acrylic paint. So just gonna mix those two together with a little bit of water to make a stain. So on this little ornament, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it or not, it's a little bit bright. You see these little prongs or whatever these things are called. So the prongs go in right there. And then this little part, um, I'm going to lift it up like this. So there's going to be two of them, just like that. And I'm going to make sure they're on the exact side. So I'm going to lift it up like that. This piece is going to go in just like that, okay? like having this glued back here made it a little bit too heavy and this is actually going to be super flush against the wall anyways um, and this is just going to make it stick out. Instead I'm going to take the little plaque thing and I'm going to glue it to the back of it. So to hang it on the wall I'm going to take three of these wooden blocks and I'm going to glue two of them together like this and I'm going to be using some really strong hot glue, not hot glue, um, super glue. And I will actually link this below. I used it in my previous video. You can get 15% off when you purchase through my link. It's going to be like the lip, so it's going to hang from right there.
right, so that is going to be it for today's video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys leave me a thumbs up. Leave me your comments or questions down below. Notification bell, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. You look back and I look back. We don't see the same thing. It's time that we just let it down.